Hey y'all, it's Lizzie Ayo with Keeping It A Bando. And we have infamous Faye Nam's realist in the building. And I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Y'all already motherfucking know. There's one half of the Charo boys. Your boy Reed Gutter, Mr. Fuck With Him or Get Fucked Over. Two six stand up. And y'all already know how we rocking, man. Yes, and we rocking strong, and you've been rocking strong for a long time. For a minute, but hey, for a minute. Let and the, we just mm -hmm. getting started. You hear me? We just getting started. Yeah, I've, I've actually noticed, like, within the time frame where you started and where you are now, tremendous work. Yeah, I appreciate it. I mean, tremendous. it's just. I appreciate the city for fucking with me too, man. They fuck with me. Real recognized, real. So, you know, the city been fucking with me. When, you know, if they fucking with me, all I got to produce. That's what I do. So let the people know what it is that you do. I paint pictures and tell stories. You know what I mean? I don't just rap. I paint pictures and tell stories. Then, you know, I've been doing a little acting here and there, so... I got a, a joint just dropped on Tubi, My Shattered Life that we in. Y'all go check that out. Then I got the web series. Shout out to my nigga Leviticus. You know what I'm saying? Church boy. Y'all check that out on YouTube. Then you know I got my merch line going. As a matter of fact, this for you right here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all check me out. Instagram, Charo Boys Apparel. You know what I'm saying? Put your order in. Everything custom order, special order. That's for you. Hey, thank so you know you. what I mean? Fuck with me. Well, I'm it right here so y'all can see it. And I got what you want. And it's long sleeve because it's, it's fall. You know it's getting chilly, so you, you know I got you. So you know what I'm saying? Thank you. Yeah, right now, it's just whatever makes sense. We just, we rolling with the punches. But, so what got you into the entertainment business? Really just the music, you know what I mean? Shit, where I'm from, they used to be on the block pumping their shit, freestyling or whatever. So that's how I got into it. And it went from that to freestyling at school. And, you know, I just fell in line with it from the music, the acting, and, you know, shit, I might start doing stand up. You never know. It's just entertainment. Whatever, whoever cutting the checks, whatever paying the bills, that's what we're doing around here. Ain't that? Road entertainment. That's why it's entertainment. You hear me? <laughs> and I see, I can actually see the comedian coming in to play because he been funny forever. You know, uh, like he a real nigga, don't get it twisted. But he be having people laughing like it's nobody business. You know, it's it's <laughs> natural, you know what I mean? So, you know. So, um what I okay, one of the main questions that I have is to say is like which is your favorite like your uh, your pastime, which is the favorite things for you to do? Is it rapping, acting? It, it's definitely the music. And I wouldn't even say recording. To me, really, it's performing. And I know I got to record, perform, so you know what I mean? But it's really performing. Like, when you ain't nothing like hitting that stage and you see motherfuckers out there singing your shit or somebody and they just, I like turning the motherfucking spot up. You hear me? Check my footage. Book me. You know what I'm saying? Sharo Boys at Gmail. Book a nigga. I'm going to turn the spot up on my soul. That's what I do. I live like I live for that shit. Ain't nothing like doing a show, I promise you. Man, I know that you've been to multiple places. Like, what is like? What are some of the places that you've been to, and which is your favorite place that you've been? Oh man, I don't know. I know my favorite places. It gotta be Cali, the West Coast. It ain't nothing like the West Coast. I don't know. It's just that West Coast weed, just that vibe. Ain't nothing like the West Coast. I'm feeling like Biggie right now. I'm going, going back, back to Cali, Cali. Ain't hey, no, hey, the West Coast ain't nothing like the West Coast. But you know, it's just that's hard though, cause like even when like say Atlanta, just the closest Atlanta, ain't nothing like that vibe. You know they always show love. Ain't nothing like that vibe either. But it's just like Cali when you can smoke your weed freely and move how you want to move and just do. It's just different. You know what I mean? Right. They got to change them gun laws, though. Y'all know we toting around here. They got to change them gun laws, but ain't nothing like Cali, man. That's dope. So, um, when you went to Cali, what are some of the things that you were doing out there? Well, you know, we definitely, you know what I'm saying, put some work in, studio, shot a video, you know what I'm saying. Y'all go check that water out on YouTube. But, you know, really, 
Well, I've been to Cali a couple of times, so like now it ain't, but you know, like the first time it was just really sightseeing, Vince Beach, went to where they shot a couple movies, Friday, shit like that, dispensaries. But you know, now when we go, it's straight work, you know, we trying to, you know what I'm saying, hit a nigga up, you know, we trying to collab, shoot videos, you know what I'm saying, we, it, we trying to work when we go now, but when we first went, you know, it was, you know what I'm saying, but then again, you know, my brother went to college in Cali, so he already had, you know what I'm saying, some shit set in stone is why it originally led us back that way. Mm -hmm. So when we go now, you know, we putting it work, you know what I'm saying? We trying to make something make sense, you know what I'm saying? And whatever makes sense, make money, and that's what we about, so that's all it is. And with you have been to Atlanta and to Cali and um, other different places, what is the difference between that scene and Fayetteville scene for you? Oh, man. Well, the difference between, I mean, they really just, they just show more love. Like, Fayetteville, we ain't really got no independent scene. Y'all know, y'all know, we, y'all know how the city is. We a hard act in Fayetteville. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna get that real, real love and push around here until you already popping. You know what I'm saying? I would say more, they fuck with they more independent niggas more. You know what I'm saying? When you go out of town and shit, you know, favorite when they ain't fucking with you. You ain't really, okay? It ain't happening around here, but I love the city, though. The city fuck with me. I can't really, you know what I'm saying? The city fuck with me, so I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I guess I just ain't had that one joint yet, though, but it's coming, but I mean, if you ask me, that would be my opinion on it. And for the people that did make it, um, it's like J. Cole and Moray, do you think that they can bring something to the city to help to push everybody? Or to push the ones that should make it, the ones that have been putting in that work? The ones I with mean, them, that good I mean, songs? I mean, I don't know a motherfucker power, so I don't know what they can do. You know what I'm saying? If, I don't know what a nigga can do, but I know how my niggas in the city rock. There ain't nobody sitting around waiting on that. You know what I'm saying? We going, boy, if you sitting around waiting on that, you better off trying to fight AIDS with a COVID vaccine. Boy, I swear to God, ain't nobody waiting on that shit. You know what I'm saying? So you just put your work in and goddamn, you know what I'm saying, move how you move. And it is what it is. Okay. And I agree. I totally agree. A lot of people, they have their, their assumptions on things. People have to realize that once you hit a different statue and when you hit that that uh, pen and paper mode, that you have to follow guidelines. You have to do the things that, that's necessary for them to do. Now, this goes to my question for you. Would you ever sign or stay independent? Yeah, yeah, if it makes sense. If it makes sense, then right on the sign. Whatever makes sense. I told you, if it makes sense to make money, whatever makes sense, then I'm right outside. Shit, I ain't gonna sign my goddamn soul, my goddamn life over, but goddamn right I signed if it makes sense. Shit, we still in these trenches. What you mean? We goddamn, hey, I'm not, I'm really outside. You know what I mean? Like, shit, shit, me, if I ain't gonna sign that paper straight, you gotta be a goddamn fool. I heard that. I've heard that completely. So, who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Ooh. Well, you, you you gotta be more specific. You ask a lot. I'm a lot. I'm a I'm a father. I'm an entertainer. I'm a hard worker, baby. I'm a brother. I'm a no. So it, you got you gotta be more specific when you ask that because I wear more than one hat. So that's a fact. So when I when I say who are you, I'm I'm asking you more so like who are you like on a day to day basis. What are the things that the fans and the supporters don't know about you? Uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm a father on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, I mean, I got I got like three kids, so I, that's what I that's what I am on a day-to-day -day basis, you know what I mean? I'm average. I'm the regular, you know what I mean? What you see is what you get. What you get is the real, so you know what I mean? This and shit ain't no, ain't no put together, no act or nothing like that. It is what it is. Right. And that's why we aren't keeping the band though. So with you being a father and still pushing the way that you pushing, 
Like, how are you able to, to keep both of them in line? Shit, is when you a real goddamn parent, it's natural it all fall in line together. Like, I ain't no motherfucking weekend parent. I got mine every day, so it ain't no, you know what I mean? It's just fall in line. It just fall in line together. Like, they come first. That's what I do this shit for, so. I seen that your babies, they sit there, they support you and everything that you do. I think that's really dope. Yeah. Y'all be on the lookout for my for my youngest leg gutter. She coming. Uh -huh. I promise she coming. So we have another we, we, spitter in the building. We, we, we work. Hey, she working on her single right now. She definitely coming. Believe that. Man, I can't wait to see what she has <laughs> to offer, bro. Because you be spitting off the dome. Like, how are you able to come up with the creative, like, sequence that you do come up with? Because I'm like, man. I need a minute. Let me go write real quick. How do you come up with your creative process? Um, I just, I go off the beat. I, I, I go off the beat. I don't never go in the studio like, we're going to make this type of song. We're going to make that type of song. You know what I'm saying? When you throw the beat on, whatever vibe I get, that's what we're going to roll with. And I mean, that's just how, you know, I guess that's God's gift. You know what I mean? It's just like that. I can understand that. So with you having that, that quickness to being able to, to put your creativity together, have you thought about battle rapping? See, I started off battle rapping. Oh. See, that's, that go back to them cafeteria tables back in school. You know, we started off doing a little battle rapping, you know what I'm saying? So, but, nah, I can't. Like, battle rapping now, that ain't, that ain't what I, the battle rapping I came up on was on the spot. You know what I'm saying? It was on the spot. We was going to work. We was going to get it in. Shit, these niggas preparing now. Shit, I might as well got them. The way they preparing, I put it by the time you prepare for a battle, I put an album together. Man. <laughs> <I ain't> even... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they got them, but, you know, I'm a battle rap fan. I love that shit. Like, niggas is amazing. Like, I ain't, I ain't trying to fuck around, man. I really, let me let me paint this picture and tell you this story. You can close your eyes, listen to this shit, and you're like, damn, I just got a flashback. You know what I'm saying? I really do that. You know what I'm saying? I stand my lane. But don't get fucked up, you know what I'm saying? A nigga ever, hey, boy, we certify around here. We, we stamp, you know what I'm saying? And, and any type of sideways shit, you're going to get your issue. You know what I'm saying? I, hey, that's what I do. Them, them the roots, you know what I'm saying? I come from that. Right. So, being that you have, okay, so tell me a little bit about your childhood. You said that you came from that. So, I want to know, where you come from? Where do I come from? Where you come from? I'm from Charo. I'm an original Charo, baby. OG. That's where I was goddamn. That's where I came up at. You know what I'm saying? So it was just, you know, private. From from a young age, we had to make something shake. You know what I'm saying? Your mama ain't had shit, so you had to make something shake. That's how we, you know what I'm saying? That's how I came up. So shit. It was a hustle mentality from a young age, fifth, sixth grade, which we was out trying to make something shake. Which we're still on bikes and popping windows, which we're gonna make a dollar. And still going to school. Oh, yeah. Damn right. I mean, I gotta give our hats off to that. You know what I'm saying? I, I remember seeing you, like, we went to middle school together. Yeah. When the spring light middle. <laughs> so I gotta keep the fuck out. But how was your experience? <laughs> That's Fayville, though. Like, when you originally from, like, I ain't even originally from here, y'all. I'm originally from Panama, but when I grew, like, growing up here from the age of seven, I practically became a native. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, they had to jump fences, play with, you know, it's, it's a different upbringing. So, how is it, okay, for instance, with your elementary school days or whatnot, you know, you said that you came from poverty opposed to other people that pretty much didn't have to worry about anything. How were you able to like transition into doing that? Like, what made what was that click? What what was that push? Was it the people around you that gave you the inspiration? Like, yo, they doing it. Let me go ahead and Nigga, get up. Niggas had shit. And like when I came out, when we came outside, you looking at the dope boys. They had niggas was at real cars. Niggas was fresh. Niggas had that gold on. They were, you like shit. That's what I want to do, nigga. I wanna. 
I'm finna get that. I want one of them motherfuckers. What is, I want to do, I got to do what he doing because that's what I want. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, that's how a nigga jump off the porch. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Got to behold a couple of years later. That shit was a facade. You know what I'm saying? For real, niggas ain't. That shit won't know what it made up to be. Boy, stay in school. Get you a trade, a degree. Get you a job. Because ain't none of this shit what it look like from the outside, boy, when you get in. You hear me? Super fast. What high school did you graduate from? Pine Forest. You know, I graduated Pine Forest, so I was saying, only thanks to Ramsey Street, though. You know what I'm saying? I had to go to alternative, alternative school, kept me in the game. Boy, if I wouldn't have went to Ramsey the year before and got them credits right, it was over for me. Yeah, but things happen for a reason. But yeah, we definitely graduated, though. You know what I'm saying? Period. We definitely got that cap and gown for my dudes. That's, and that's a fact. And that's another question I wanted to bring up. Like, with the support from, you're getting it from the city, no doubt. Now, how is it with, like, your mom and everything? How does she feel about you doing um, your thing? You know, I got major family support. You know, my mom, that's, like, my number one ride. I heard my brother, you know, my brother won't really rap. You know, bro was always, he did the sports thing, you know what I'm saying? You know, I was doing the rapping. He started fucking with the rapping, fucking with me, and it just took off how it took off. So, you know, I got major family support. Where do you see yourself in the next three years? Three years? Mm, the next three years, realistically. Hopefully, with that secure bag and, you know what I'm saying, a bigger following and just consistent and maintaining. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy. I just need to secure that bag and, and, and stay consistent and get this following right on, you know. Keep it pushing. Yeah. So stay I, healthy, you know. Right. Because we can't know the now. We got to make sure we, we dot our I's and cross our T's. <laughs> Nigga, nigga got to wake up in the water and take them. Got the vitamins, you hear me? <laughs> so, what keeps you motivated? Motivated? My kids. And then, honestly, lately, I've been needing some fucking motivation. You know what I mean? I've been needing some fucking motivation. Other niggas in the city keep me motivated. I see other niggas working. I feel like, oh, shit, boy, I got to got them get back in the goddamn booth. You know, I'm tripping. You know what I'm saying? Other niggas keep me motivated, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, it be my youngest. Like, boy, you got to make some shake. You're almost there. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck you waiting on? So, it just... Then I got a love for the shit. So, it, I might say, fuck this shit. I can't never let it go, though. Right. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. So, um, have you worked... I know you've worked with plenty of people in the bill. Like, how do you feel the scene is here? Like, as far as... Artists, do you think that they're pretty much trying to push themselves separately, or some people are clicking up, so to speak, or should everybody get together? Of course, you're gonna say everybody get together, but I mean, I mean, I feel like shit. It, it ain't a lot of unity. It's a little unity, you know what I'm saying? Niggas do more more talking than they nigga like. And it ain't like niggas don't fuck with each other. It's like niggas see each other in the club. Oh, nigga, we got to work. But niggas really never really hit each other up and put the work in. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like niggas don't fuck with each other or niggas be beefing. It's just that niggas really ain't linking up and putting the work in. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, as from traveling and shit, I can say we ain't got them studios that niggas got out of town where... 10, 12 niggas can just pull up and put an all night session in and niggas around here ain't having that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, the vibes are different around here, but niggas just gotta link up, man. Put that goddamn work in. Niggas gotta stop. You know what I'm saying? Just cause you got more followers, a little more money than the next nigga, man. Get that nigga the feature, man, and goddamn you know what I'm saying? Y'all boys got to cut that shit out, man, but it is what it is. Niggas gonna get it together. Right. Hopefully they get it together sooner than later. Because time is is in not inevitable. You know, a lot of people think that they got this much time and really you don't. And coming together to make it go faster can actually happen, in in my opinion. Instead of just everybody being segregated or not being fully committed to their craft. Because a, a lot of a lot of it to me, 
got to do with being committed to your craft, investing in yourself. You know, a lot of people want to do things, but they're not able to afford to do it. But then when they're given the opportunity to get it done, they don't. So what do you say to the ones that there is opportunity for you to get free photo shoot, free video shoot, um, something that goes geared to your craft? What do you tell the ones that just sit in bed? Boy, you got to put that ego, that pride to the side and put that work in. I mean, if you're working, you're working. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't, you ain't. So, I mean, with shit like that, it speaks for itself. Especially if a motherfucker gonna give you some free work and you don't go get no free work, then I mean, we already know you ain't serious about the crab. So, you know what I mean? A lot of motherfuckers cut themselves out the goddamn equation. So, that's just that. It ain't even too much on that. It's just. Chill. You can tell who's serious about it, who ain't, who working, or who not really working. Right. Um, what are some of the big things that you've done that you remember your your very your most memorable situation as far as most being an artist? Most memorable. Mm -hmm. uh, I said that's when I was really having fun with this shit. You know, that's when I was years ago. Like I still have fun with this shit now, but. They were really trying to get to the bag now, you know what I'm saying? But like when I was really having fun with this shit, like shout out to Mary Dark Side Camp, you know what I mean? I'm gonna always have love for them, but back when, you know what I'm saying, she was managing us, we were fucking with them, like we was doing like the grind time, halftime shows, the rap battles. I remember when we did a joint, we opened up for plies, like we was, you know what I'm saying, putting some work in. That's that's back when it was fun. Just any time I was doing some shit and it was really, you know what I'm saying, for the love of the shit. Like any, it's just the shows, man. I love the shows. What changed? Hey, shit changed. It's just the bag got to be secured now. You know, a nigga was young back then. We were, you know what I'm saying? I was young back then. I was not think about getting no music money. We were trapping, rapping, jacking, and all type of other shit. But now, bitch, hey, hold on, we got that, okay? Because it's a lot of work that you're putting in. And the people that big, like, stream me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that. So, well, um, so do we see you doing any upcoming shows? Yeah, I mean, of course, of course. It just got to make sense. And y'all need to book me before the price go up. The price ain't went up yet. Book a nigga for the price school, you hear me? Tell them where they can find you to you do that at. Shaw Road Boys, S H A W R O A D B O Y S, no spaces, all one word, at gmail.com. Or Shaw Road Boys, any social media platform Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, you know what I'm saying? Hey, if you can search a motherfucker, Matter of fact, just cut all that. Just start, put me in Google. You know what I'm saying? And everything right there. Google the nigga, baby. Google me. <laughs> Are you managed or are you doing everything like everything just y'all? No, right now everything in house. We we you know what I'm saying? Every everything in house. Shout out shout out to my brother, man. My brother, that's who handles, you know what I'm saying? All of that. So you know what I'm saying? That's yes, facts. Well, Family that sticks together and prays together, right? You know, they get together and they get into the bed. They go get to the bed. You know what I'm saying? So anything. <laughs> Teamwork. Features, book you know what I'm saying? If you got them beats, you know what I'm saying? Video girls, whatever. Hit the email, Instagram, wherever. You know what I'm saying? We definitely got them link up, put some work in. Do you have any motivational <clears throat> words that you want to give to the people? Fuck with me or get fucked over. You hear me? Don't come over here talking about everything got to be positive because that's that fake love and we don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Two six or nothing. Yeah, that's about it. We, we don't do too much. Have you ever, between like what you just said, have you ever experienced that fake love? And how did you handle that fake love? You know, that... Because I don't know. You get fake we, love. I can't we, believe we that. We get that every day. 
You get that every day. That, that's that. That's that love you get at work. When you go to work, they say, "Hey, girl, I miss you." I miss. Bitch, been off two days. They come in. Girl, I miss you, girl. I hate. That's that fake love, bitch. You don't even know me. So you know what I'm saying? That's that fake love, fake dance, fake hugs. That's every day. Now we don't. You know what I'm saying? Don't. You already know, cause that's motherfucker who talk about it. Don't tell me you love me. You got to show me. You know what I'm saying? Action speaks louder than words. So that's that's just that. That's the fact. Well, y'all, it's keeping the band up. Wet with Zia, yo. And we have dope ass Sharo boy in the motherfucking building. I've almost called you by your real name, Regatta. Hey, yeah, hey, hey. Man. Fuck with me. Okay. Fuck Dover. Lizzie Yayo, y'all already know. Fuck with my girl. Hey, there's some two six shit going on, man. Period.